Wow, 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 wow. But anyways, you, 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 you didn't plan the first pair, and that always makes it bad. So, always plan the first pair. Also, I just did something pretty nice, because like this solution, it also gives you a free pair. And here, actually, I'd probably do something like that, and then, you know, that, and then... LAST LAYER SKIP! NO WAY! I GOTTA REWATCH THAT! What's up guys, today I'll be doing a critique and the scrambles and reconstructions will be in the description so if you want a critique just send me a video and make sure you reconstruct the solves using cubedb, link them in the description and then send me the link in the comment section. So uh, another requirement is you, you, you have to not ask me in the comment section how to get a critique because I just told you how to. So anyways, x2 why? Okay, that's what I would do. Except, I'm not sure what you did for your first pair. It doesn't really make sense. So, R2, F. And then I have no idea what you did here. R2, U2, R prime. Oh, so you tried to solve this pair like that. Okay, so it's a, it's not a bad solution, but you shouldn't be solving your front right pair. And there's a lot of better options. For example, this one. You can do this one, and that gives you a free pair. Or you can do this one, like that. Or you can do some funny solution like that, which is five moves. Or you can do this pair. And this pair is actually pretty good. It's FU Sledge F prime. I messed it up. But anyways, yeah, you did this pair, which is the worst pair you could do, so not really good. And next you did... Okay, this pair, don't do this solution. It's kind of bad. There are better solutions. First of all, you couldn't, you shouldn't have done this pair because it. And once again, you you keep picking the worst pair, right? This pair is better. Uh, this pair is better. Uh, but you pick the worst pair, and this pair, you can do it from this angle, but you could while you're doing like f u prime two and f prime something like that. But you decided to rotate, and if I would rotate, then you have to solve it like that because solving like this is better than solving it like this because there's a U2 in the middle and there's more pinches but you got yourself a free pair which is a nice job but then you but then you rotate it for it which is bad so don't rotate just insert the pair like that or like that but you rotate it which is bad and then you did this which is fine and then here you did this OLL which you locked up on and it's also it's not it's not the best OLL out for for this OLL I like to do R from FRS R from FMRS S prime is better for me like it's just so fast, but if you want to get the same ELL as this one, like the same last letter case, you can just do S prime R U prime R prime S R U R prime. And this one's also really good, so yeah, you should consider switching. Well, uh, you shouldn't consider switching. You should switch. But anyways, you did this, and then you did that. Now you also kind of didn't do well in the U prime. M U is, in my opinion, better because it's just faster. It's just so much faster that it's, it's, I don't think RU is actually worth it. Like, the only RU out that's close to being worth it is this one. Right. Because it's re-gripless and it's fast, right, from this angle. But anything else is just not as good. So, okay, and, and this. This too, I guess. But, like, anything else other than those two outs you shouldn't be using. Like, this is, this isn't that good. Um, the inverse of it isn't that good either because you have to re-grip. And then... This obviously is horrendous. It's not really that good. But anyways, yeah, that's the first solve. Okay, so your solves are fine, but you, you should just turn faster. You're turning too slow. If you turn faster, you'll be sub seven, but you're turning too slow and it's just making you slower. So just turn faster. Really, really simple. It might seem hard at first, but the more you turn fast, the better you'll get at it, and then the better style it will become. But anyways, cross is completely fine. But of course, the first pair I have an issue with. So you did U prime for no reason, and then Y prime, U, R, U, R prime. That tells me you didn't plan your first pair, and you gotta plan it. So if I did plan it, then you, I would just insert that pair, cancel into this one. Oh, that's really nice. Now I have a lot of free pairs, and then I can do this one. And then... 
And then, wow, 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 wow. But anyways, you, 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 you didn't plan the first pair, and that always makes it bad. So, always plan the first pair. Also, I just did something pretty nice, because, like, this solution, it also gives you a free pair. And here, actually, I'd probably do something like that, and then, you know, that, and then... Last layer skip! No way! I gotta rewatch that! Bro, I just spontaneously came up with a last layer skip solution. That's crazy. Anyways, uh... Anyways, what you did was X2, D prime R prime F2, D prime F2. Yeah, just just doing cross would give you a last layer skip. If if you did it the right way, cause like watch this. Last layer skip. Gave you this, and you rotate this way after doing some A weffing, which is bad. Here you saw this pair like that, which is bad because you can just keyhole. So keyhole is just when you insert the corner like that, and. Uh, yeah, to just, just insert the corner instead of doing this pair like that, which is kind of bad. So don't do that. And then here, you rotate did this, uh, so that's not bad. But there's also another nice solution, so it's like... Okay, so from here, it would be wide R. So from here, it would be R, U2, R prime, U2. Sorry. Uh, so from this angle, you can just do R, U2, R prime, U2 like that, and then rotate down. So a really nice solution, and it works pretty well, but... Since this pair was oriented, you could just cancel into this pair, right? But uh, let's see what you did for... Okay, so you did something really bad. Personally, what, precisely what I would have, would have done is R cancel into this solution like that. but Or cancel into this solution, depending on my mood. But like doing the RUD is better, obviously. But uh, you did something like just that. And then U2 and then that, which is bad. So don't do that. And then you did U prime into U U, so that's a lot of A U F ing. Avoid that. Now for the O L L, you kind of have you kind of paused in the middle, and O L L you got to do it smoothly. And the sledge part you kind of took way too long, and yeah, just like there is this one, so you can do F U F from R from F R U from R from F from R, and this one's really nice. This is the one I use most of the time. It's my main aug, but yeah, like this aug is just eh, it's good, but. It's a bit slow, and I find it easy to lock up before the sledge, and that's where you locks up anyway. So here you did this PLL, which is fine, but just notice from this angle, it's better to do this out. So, yeah, be sure to do both of the outs, because like the inverse of the one that I just showed, that you just did, is really good. Okay, so this solve was kind of funny. You, you screwed up and then you did some random stuff. It, it was it was very interesting. Anyways, so Z2, you did an extra long cross here, and uh, you definitely did not plan it. Because if you'd planned it, then I'd be like, I'd be surprised. It's really stupid. So you did U R prime F L F. Okay. L prime D L F F F two F F prime U R prime U prime R D. Actually, okay, maybe you would have planned it. I'm just reading the extra moves as making it extra long. But okay, so it's fine, right? But two and then D L two and then. Here you have just, you know, inserting this corner, right? I mean the edge. And then here you can insert this, and then cancel into inserting that. And then, wow, triple X cross, and you do that, and then, yeah, that's, that's, that's the solve if it was done by me. But anyways, U, R prime, F, L, F, L prime, D, L, F, 2, F. F prime U, R prime U prime. Yeah, so it's just very long and like it wasn't that good. And then here you did. Okay, so for this pair, make sure the way you're finger trinking it is pushing the U prime, U two prime, and then L prime U L. So because this is faster than if you do anything else. So this is the only execution you should be using for this pair. Anyways, though, uh, after doing the pair, you did U two. Okay, so this is a really bad solution. I'm not gonna be gonna show it. Just for this pair at this angle, L F prime U F L prime. And how you do it is, 
L obviously, and F prime like that, U with the middle, and then F like that. And with practice, this is really good. Like, look how fast that is. But anyways, that gives you a free pair. Well, you did also give you a free pair, though. So, uh, free pair, Y, U prime, U prime. Okay, so from here, you can just do that. So, fat F or fat R prime. Since you have a U2, A, U, F, you can do U2, fat F or fat R prime, instead of doing U prime, U prime. But, uh, just that. Or from here, it would be that. And now, you did this, and then you did OLO, and then PLO. Okay, so, this OLO, this AG is good, but you can also do this one, which I like. For this angle, so R U two R prime U prime S prime R U prime R prime S. It's basically just an anti scene with some S moves in it. And anyways, this into uh, U prime U prime U prime. Okay, something like that. Okay, and once again, don't use R U U perms. Use M U U perms and R U S U perms, especially for the it's, it, it, except for this one is fine. And uh, this one is fine, but any other R U U perms, they're just not as good. So don't, 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 don't. Okay, so four solves, Z two Y prime. Okay, it looks like you you only do Y cross, which means you need to do dual color neutrality. And to do dual cross, all you gotta do is just do yellow solve for a month, and then you'll be dual color neutral. That's what I did, and I was like so biased towards white for like the longest time, for a few years actually. But all I had to do was just do a month on yellow, only yellow solves. Don't do white, never touch white, and then I got dual color neutral. So just do that; it will make you instantly more consistent. So, anyways, what I'm what I'm noticing with your solves is. You're not turning fast enough, and you do too many U U prime stuff. Try to recognize the pair before doing a single move. So, anyways, did cross, and here you ha you got to do an F two. You can't do a F F U. You you got to do F two. Okay, so just do F two. Then you did a U B two. Okay, so the first pair, I have no idea what you're trying to do. So, what are you doing? So, ye oh okay. So for this pair. Instead of doing U prime U Y prime U prime, just do just do that. So just do that, okay? But anyways, you did U prime Y prime U prime R prime U R. Okay, next pair. Oh, hmm. Next pair. Okay, rotation into that. Not bad. It gave you a free pair, but like I would just do sledge and then insert the pair because that would give you also a nice case. Or you can do double sledge, and then that also gives you a nice case, but. Doing that gave you a free pair, so that's nice. But here, instead of just doing the pair like that, I would do a hedge and then cancel into that. And then, wow! Oh, let's get V perm, and V perm is actually not that bad. Okay, this solve was very locky, and it just tells me you need to work on your turning. So, work on turning fast, work on turning accurately, work on PLL time attack, OL time attack, F2 time attack. Like I, I, I've, I obviously recommend PLL time attack the most, but the the more time attacks you do, the better your your turning will get. And it's actually kind of fun once you get into it, but yeah, you got to work on that type of stuff. So here you did a very long X cross. Hmm. Okay, so before going through what you did, if it was just me doing a solve, I wouldn't have done an X cross. Actually, I would have just U two R prime F D F two and then L prime right. And now I would just do my pairs normally because. There's no point to doing X cross. So here, what I would do is like either solve the back right or the back left. I think I do the back left. So do something like that. Okay. Okay. So you had this pair, and you should have done that, but you didn't, and you did something like that. Then next, you did this pair, which is fine. But here, you should have done that. But what you did was this, which is fine too, to be honest. And then. You didn't write down the re oh you did write down the rest of it okay so here u two u prime once again don't do that don't 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 do that kind of stuff anyways PLL skip nice job yeah to solve the spare do l f m l f l two like that uh but. You could, you could also regrip like that, and, and it would be like. But anyways, uh, yeah. Solve this pair. 
and then like you know do the rest of the salt anyways though you did a very long cross okay so you took out that that's i see what you're trying to do here okay so okay now n this is just no don't no 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 from here you can just do u2 l2 u l prime don't don't do something like u prime f r prime f2 don't 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 no 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 do what i just told you anyways next you did a y u okay so this pair don't rotate just pair it up from here and then insert like that or pair it up from here and then insert like that yeah, for this this is a better solution so m prime u prime water prime u f r like that so that's the solution I was, I was trying to show you. Anyways, uh, going back to what you did. Okay, so rotate for this pair, which is bad, don't rotate. And then here you did, okay, so here I, I see some pseudo slotting opportunities, but I probably wouldn't do it because there's, there's no point. So, huh, L, U, L, okay, pair it up like that. Okay, that gave you, that, I, that gave you the free pair, so I'm not gonna complain about it, but generally to solve this pair, uh, just do f r u 2 r prime f prime like that uh you know or r prime f r u 2 f prime when this slot is free it's not though so don't do it uh, or you can do f sledge like that and that gives you an eo so something to know so f sledge f prime okay uh, because it gives you your eo that's nice um or if you do that okay it, they, they both give you u cases apparently that's interesting but i know zbl so that's nice what if you do from this angle? Huh, you get a T. What if you do it from... Okay, you get a C. Okay, okay, okay. Anyways, going back to the last pair solution. What you did was this, and I gave you a free pair, so nice. Now, don't rotate for the last pair, though, because you can just do that. But you did a rotation. Just, 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 do, just do more uh, FR, fat FR, fat F prime, and F U prime, F prime, inserts, F U F prime. Stuff like that is better, so... I'm not sure what you did, so what are you, you, you blah, 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 something like that. And then, yeah, like hesitations. Don't hesitate, not necessary. Anyways, yeah, from what I can tell from your solving, it's, uh, it's, it's, there's not too much to say. Like, you're not bad. You're just not, you're just not, uh, there's, not, there's nothing that sets you apart. You're just an average, like, sub nine solver, right? And you, and to get better, you need to turn really fast and turn really fast without locking up that requires practice that requires pl on time attack that requires learning my algorithms that requires you know a ton of like just doing stuff like that doing stuff like that i don't know doing stuff like calling burns all the time attack do all kinds of those fun stuff Basically, the biggest thing that will improve your solves is you can just turn faster without locking up because you're locking up a lot. But if you turn faster and you don't lock up, you'll average sub seven. Now, the second thing I noticed is your F2L isn't always that good. There's a lot of things that you don't know that you should be knowing at your level. Like there's just a few common F2L algs that you should be using, like common F2L tricks. They're, they're so common that you definitely need to know them. And you, t you, t you tend to hesitate a lot, so don't do that. Just Look at the pair, recognize it before actually doing a U move, because doing U moves will just waste your time if you don't know what you're doing. And for your last layer, I think most of it is fine. Just make sure that you have actually went through my video and learned all of the algorithms before deciding on which ones you're gonna use and which ones you aren't. I don't think you've spent enough time on them yet. And for cross, you need to stop doing those long X cross solutions. Either just do cross or do an X cross that's efficient. Don't do something in between. Don't do a very, very long X cross. It's not worth it. So anyways, yeah, I guess that's it for this critique. There wasn't too much to say. It, it was mostly just common sense things. So yeah, I guess that's it for this critique. Thanks for watching.